about the University of Redlands mainly through Golfstat and just looking at all the top ranked college golf programs throughout the western US, Division 1, 2 or 3. Sent out a number of letters, uh, got plenty of responses back and I was lucky enough to have parents that took me on a number of recruiting trips and when it came down to it, Redlands was just the best fit. Uh, from the moment I met the coach, Coach Salveson, met the teammates, just hit it off with everybody, great facilities. Uh, the fact that it was in Southern California, I knew the weather would be great. Plus, Southern California had plenty of new things to experience for a Montana guy. Then the campus and, and everything in general just felt like after spending a, a couple days there, it was the best fit for me. It was going to provide me the best chance of success uh, athletically and still provide me uh, great academics as well. And, and that's why I made the decision to become a Bulldog. He's from Haber, Montana, which is on the border of Canada so there's not much up there because I've been there and he wanted to get somewhere where he could play every day in the sunshine and so forth and just we just fell in he fell in love with the school and, and decided to come to Redlands I didn't really know what I had until I went to Nationals that year with Nick coming in the following year when I was up on the range with the other players my players I had eight coaches come up to me and say congratulations on Nick Obi never had that done before and uh, then I knew I had something. Unfortunately, when I when I say that name, I uh, it's synonymous um, in my head. It goes straight to this big smiling Nick Obi. Um, he just had this this demeanor about him. Uh, he would always I don't know how he'd do it, but he'd always find the fun. He'd always find the positive in any situation. And as we all know. Golf is one of the most frustrating sports that you can be a part of. And for someone to actually genuinely smile and laugh at himself at the end of the day, I think that says a lot about the person. Um, it's just a great, great characteristic that he seems to have. Nick, you always had a joke for everything. The uh, Montana sense of humor really uh, kept it light and kept it easy. We had a, a competitive squad that was pretty focused most of the time and more often than not pretty uh, serious but you always had that one lighter to uh, lighten the mood. Jordan Bailey, who was a senior when I was a freshman, um, he had a pretty big impact because he was able to show me a lot of the ins and outs of Redlands as a community, Redlands Country Club, you know, he gave me a guy to practice with who had a lot of experience, took me under his wing and, and that was pretty important. And then two guys that I was teammates with uh, the whole way through, Trevor Young, who introduced me to Carl Welty, which was pretty important, and then also uh, R.J. Scholl, both those guys were freshmen when I was a freshman. We experienced the whole four years together, really built uh, a program around us, that core three. And, and they were, even though they're the same age, I'd say they had a big enough impact to call them a form of mentor, somebody to compete with, somebody to push myself with. Uh, and then finally, I'd always include my parents in there. Um, being a long way from home, there were a lot of ways they were able to help me as far as just the college experience in general always there for guidance and to help in any way. So those are the people that I'd say had the greatest influence on me while I was a Bulldog. And then going to uh, Nebraska our senior year to get some practice rounds in. Um, elk water is a lot of fun. I'd say stay away from trains. I think uh, you know what I mean, but those are, are two life experiences I'll never forget and, and stories I can never tell too often. Well, my favorite memory was when he was at Nationals and I was following him uh, for four or five holes and on the ninth hole there was a bathroom up there in the clubhouse so I went into the bathroom and I heard people screaming outside and one guy says somebody hit a hole in one and so I missed it but I came out and I said did I hear a hole in one and they said yeah he said well who hit it that guy in the white shirt and that was Nick Obi and I was raising my fist and it was pretty exciting to, to, to see something like that and then another great memory you can look on the other end my senior year at Nationals uh, we were going in as one of the favorites, if not the favorite, and uh, a lot of people knew we were a force. Uh, a lot of us had been around for a few years then, so they knew the, they recognized our names. And so anyway, first round of the tournament, maybe there were some early tournament nerves. We just didn't play that well. Conditions weren't easy. We found ourselves a little further back than we wanted. Uh, but second round, weather calmed down a little bit, and we got some momentum going out there. And I remember stepping on the 14th tee and looking up at the leaderboard, and there was University of Redlands. 14 under on the round through 14 holes basically as a team 
And it gives me goosebumps to think about it now. You know, that's, that's pretty low for people that don't know collegiate college golf. That's a pretty low round. At that point in time, I was, uh, I think I was five under on the day, and I went from going, oh man, keep it going, to, wow, you got other guys on your team beating you, you better pick it up. Uh, we didn't finish quite as low as that. Uh, still a great round, great memory. Got us back in the tournament. Unfortunately, we finished second for the third year in a row. And if you want to look at how my experience at Redlands impacted um, my life, it's pretty easy. University of Redlands, my life consisted of just a few basic things. Golf, and a lot of it. Um, fun, with friends, uh, you know, making great memories, making new friends, just living life. And then also my academics, which was a study in finance. And if you look at my life since Redlands, what does it consist of? Golf. I pursued uh, career and professional golf, competing for five years on a full-time basis, chasing you know PGA Tour and the Nationwide Tour. Had some success doing that. Uh, I've always placed a high importance on living life, friends, family, making those memories. Uh, I think that's extremely important because you do only go around once, and you might as well do it right. And then the current career that I'm most heavily involved in, finance, uh, with a financial advisory firm. So my degree in Redlands led straight into that. So. Everything I did at Redlands has pretty much led into the life that I lead today. The careers, golf and finance, uh, living life, having fun, making memories. I mean, that's really, uh, everything in my life today is just an expansion of what I was doing at Redlands and my time there as a Bulldog. Whenever, whenever you can bring someone in or when, whenever one individual can dramatically turn the whole organization around um, he makes people better around him that's that's a clear sign um, that he should be you know in this case inducted into the Hall of Fame Nick if you aren't I don't know who is um, three times in a row we were the national runner-ups multiple Skyac championships you uh, were Skyac player of the year all region player of the year um, in addition to that, your nickname was 4.0B because I know you had the best grades on the team and, and just about in the entire school. Um, you're a gentleman on and off the golf course and a hell of a talent with a golf club in your hand. So, congratulations. Being part of the Bulldog Hall of Fame means a great deal to me. It means you're leaving behind a legacy. Uh, you're part of something bigger. You're a part of history. If you just sat me down as a freshman and said, what's your goal as a golfer at the University of Redlands? Among those goals would have been to come in as a freshman from Montana and leave four years later and be thought of as the best golfer to ever come through Redlands. Whether that is or is not the case is not for me to decide, but the fact that I'm being honored with a Hall of Fame induction means that I was at least in the discussion. Uh, so that's a pretty good feeling. You know, anytime you're a Hall of Famer in anything, it means whatever you were brought here to do at the University of Redlands, you were pretty dang good at. Uh, which there's some pride that comes with that. You know, I remember walking through the Hall of Fame when I was new to the University of Redlands and seeing some of the golfers, not knowing who they were, but seeing some of their accomplishments, going, okay, I want to I wanna beat that, or I want to uh, match that, or I want to be a part of this Hall of Fame. And the fact that now I'm going to be on that wall, and somebody might do that when they look at my plaque or my picture or my accomplishments, is a great feeling, and uh, I truly am honored. Nick, as you, as you always say, um, uh, way to go, bud. I think I still use that word because of you. Way to go, bud. Um, you definitely, you definitely uh, earned your your rank, and you definitely earned this induction into the Hall of Fame. So I just wanted to say thanks, um, and and good luck with all your future endeavors, bud. Nick, to this day, I can uh, honestly say you're the best roommate I've ever had, and an even better teammate. I know that the level of play you brought to the team certainly helped me to bring my game to the next level. And uh, none of us would have played as well as we did had you not been there uh, pushing us you know, on and off the golf course. Nick, I just want to congratulate you on your 2013 induction to the Redlands Bulldogs Hall of Fame. Uh, you worked so hard and absolutely deserve this, so congratulations, bud. Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, I wanted to thank uh, Larry Obi and Loretta Obi uh, for being a part of this program and, and, and all the things that we did and all the fun that we had and, and thank you for sending Nick down to Redlands because it, it's, been a, it's been a great run. Nick, uh, you're number one. You're the one that started this whole program and took it to the level that it's at now 
and uh, along with uh, Trevor Young and RJ, you guys just took this team and ran with it, and it was exciting to watch you guys play for four years. The first All-American in my program, Nick Obie. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee Nick Obie. Presenting Nick's plaque this evening is Art Salveson, head Bulldog men's golf coach during Nick's career.